Oh, hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Saxophone Factory. My name is Willie Lawson. Uh, we appreciate you being here, the Saxophone Factory. We're just doing our job trying to make saxophone playing and being a musician a little bit easier than some people would have you believe. <laughs> um, one of the last videos we talked about was minor scales. We concentrated primarily on the natural minor scale, or what we used to call back in the day, the pure minor scale. The pure minor or natural minor scale is just the major scale starting on the sec on the sixth scale degree and using the same key signature. It's like the A natural minor scale is just the sixth note of the C major scale and you play it as if you're playing A to A in the key of C. The second kind of, of scale that we're going to talk about um, is a very, very common uh, minor scale to learn. It is the harmonic minor scale. The, har the harmonic minor scale is a, um, it's a deviation of the natural minor scale. And I like to think of it that way because you can stay in the minor mentality. And you don't have to try to relate it to the major scale. See what I'm saying? So while we're thinking in minor, we can continue to think in minor. Everything we do here is how you think about it. Everything we do here is how you think about it. All right. Let's take a look. Here, I have a, um, excuse me, look. Let me move something that you don't see so I can see what I need to see. All right, we have the first part, the first octave of an A harmonic minor scale. As you can see, we have A, B, C, D, E, F, we are cruising along just like we were with the A natural minor scale. The difference comes on the seventh scale degree, seventh scale degree of the minor scale. Normally it would be G if it was natural minor, but in harmonic minor, it's a G sharp. It's a G sharp. So you can see or you can hear how that note affects the scale. Let's go ahead and play it one more time. There you go. It almost adds it almost adds it almost adds a bit of major because it goes T do. It's a half step away from the end. Just like it is in, just like it would be in the A major scale. So the uh, the harmonic minor scale is the natural minor scale with the seventh scale degree raised one half step. The seventh scale degree. Now, if you're wondering, because a lot of you do this, you're wondering what those numbers are above the keys, that those are for fingering for piano. Stop looking at things that I'm not talking about. Stop looking at stuff that I'm not talking about. I'm wondering what they are and focusing on them. Only focus on what I'm talking about. All right. Um, so the harmonic minor scale is the natural minor scale 
with the seventh scale degree raised. Let's look at another one. Let's look at the E harmonic minor scale. The E harmonic minor scale is just, our, our natural minor scale is just E to E in the key of G. As you can see here in the E harmonic minor scale, the key signature is F sharp. Has an F sharp in the key signature, which makes it a G, which would make it a G major something. But we're not going to start on G. We're going to start on the sixth scale degree in the in the G scale. G, A, B, C, D, E. And then we're going to play from E to E in the key of G. I love how all of this rhymes so well. Um, it's swell. <laughs> All right, so when we start talking about the harmonic minor scale, we're going to raise the seventh scale degree in the key of E natural minor. So we can see by the staff here that this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh scale degree. It wouldn't normally be D, but in the harmonic scale, it's raised a half step, so it's D sharp and back to E. Let's go ahead and listen to it. And there we are. One more time, and I, and I really need you to get this. In order to play, to learn the harmonic minor scale, first learn the natural minor scales. And then once you know the natural minor scales, go through and raise the seventh, very good, the seventh scale degree of the natural minor scale. And then you'll have all of the harmonic minor scales. If you have questions, write them down in the comments. Again, we're going to have a video where I go through and play them for you so you can hear them again. Um, and that's going to be sometime, it is Sunday morning, uh, early, early Sunday morning, like 1 a.m. Uh, so that's going to be this week. So so as you watch this lesson, uh, make sure that you come back and, you, uh, and, and, and well, when you subscribe, click the notification bell. That way, when you come back, you'll be able to, to see the lessons where I actually play through them all. Cool? All right. Until we see you again, keep playing.